Hello everyone, welcome back to Press Media and today let me show you how to add filter to brand logo carousel like this one when someone hover upon uh, on the logo it will transition to full color and at normal time it will be a little uh, the opa low opacity and gray scale like this for this uh, uh, transition or filter you can do it using uh, a specific uh, third party add-ons for Elementor but without using any other third party plugins or add-ons you can design this using Elementor itself using Elementor carousel widget okay let me show you how okay let's delete this widget and uh, edit let's just carousel Okay, this one image carousel insert it here and then add logos. I have already uploaded a few logos here, like this one. Make sure they are of the same dimension. Okay, this is it. Uh, slash to show five. Okay, slash to scroll one. Mm -hmm. this is at normal times without you uh, adding the filter okay you can remove this dots and arrows none okay yeah it's good now go to advance let's add a like, uh, CSS ID for example brand then go to custom CSS uh, this custom CSS is Elementor Pro uh, uh, feature if you're new to Elementor yeah and if you do not have Elementor Pro then you can use third party add-ons like master add-ons for Elementor to add custom CSS to Elementor even without using this uh, uh, Elementor add-ons you can add custom CSS through customizer or other uh, options to add custom CSS. There are a lot of ways to add custom CSS. Okay. Now, here using Elementor Pro, let's add custom CSS. Brand, this is the uh, CSS ID there we have added here in the layout. Yeah, this one. Okay. Then, IMC, for the image, then filter grayscale 100 percent okay now it is in grayscale okay then let's add uh, opacity about uh, 0.45 and now it's good okay now close bracket then again brand IMG on hover filter grayscale zero percent okay then opacity one close the bracket now when I hover upon the logo, it will show the full color. Okay, that's it. Add filter at normal image, then add, uh, remove the filter on hover. That's it. It's just a simple CSS, custom CSS. Update it. Now you're good to go. Okay, for the responsive, it is showing only one logo so instead you can show at least three uh, sorry three logo it is now overlapping each other for that you add custom spacing now it is it is good center clear okay, line center now it's good that's it yeah and I hope you learned something new, especially for those Elementor beginners. And if you're or if you're familiar with Elementor uh, and Elementor Pro, then you may have already uh, noticed. On um, yeah, I hope you get inspired or learn something new. If you like this video, 
please don't forget to click the thumbs up button subscribe and comment okay see you in the next video bye bye